Well, today I'm going to cook beans. This is beans and then corn. I have already boiled my corn. I had already boiled my corn. This is the boiled corn, which I'm going to use with beans. Good. I'm going to cook my beans with the pressure cooker. Pressure cooker helps in cooking food faster. I start by washing my beans. I boil water to cook oil on, on my beans first. I want to pour this my water. I cover it. After five minutes of soaking my beans with boiled water, I have to rinse it. See the color? Look at this. It's the acidic nature and the juicy. Acidic nature of the beans. I rinse it out at least two or three times. Can we see the color? Mm -hmm. I now start washing it into my pressure cooker. I'm boiling water again to pour into my beans to minimize the consumption of gas. Pouring my hot water into my beans. Pour your water to cover the beans very well. Cover your pressure cooker. It once it clicks. You know you have covered it and covered this. Hmm. Now on the fire. When the pressure cooker makes a whistling sound, you lower the heat. My corn is blocked. So, and I'm not cooking all today. I have to allow it to defrost. Put a little water and allow it to defrost. And remove some that I need today and keep the rest. Mm -hmm. These are the ones I need. I'm keeping the rest. Still keeping this one for another day. Yeah, that's how I preserve my corn in the freezer. Boom! It's going into the freezer now. Okay. Then I'm using this for today's beans. When the pressure indicator valve pops up, you know the food is well cooked. Put off the heat and allow to cool for five minutes before opening it. I open here to release some air. Then you now open the pressure cooker. Yeah. Wow. Already very soft. It's now soft. Okay, good. I will now start cooking my beans and corn. And I'm going to bring a separate pot. In a separate pot, put your cooked corn. 
pour in the quantity of beans you need into the pot of corn and add as much beans as you need. I add my water to still boil the corn and dance together to make it more tender. You cover it for till the water is dried, then you know, and it's tender. Then you add your pepper, your salt, and my palm oil that I brought from Niger, Nigeria while coming to HK. Yeah, yeah, it's done. It's dry, the water is dry, and the beans is tender. I off this, I put my oil. One and a half or two spoons of oil is okay. One spoon of pepper. A little salt because already beef itself contains some salt, a little pinch of salt, that's okay. <laughs> if you need more, you can add, then you have to start turning. And boom. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Yummy, that's okay, it's okay. Dish out a portion into your plate and enjoy. Food is ready, come and join us. Mm. 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 My granddaughter, huh? how do you find this food? Very tasty. Ah, lovely. Ah, join us, so please try this type of food. Try this and come. I'm, I'm assuring you, you will eat, enjoy, and demand for more. <laughs>